Hi Curious and welcome back! This season of The Crown has surprised us all with the series of events and dramatic situations that followed it. And that means that the eyes of the world are once again turning to the actual British royal family, as the successful Netflix series is uncovering all kinds of feelings around them. Do you want to know why? Well, today we're going to tell you all about the love story between Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh Philip. Stay with us until the very end to find out all about a whole range of scandals, betrayals, forbidden loves, infidelities and tragedies that surround this marriage and ones that the crown didn't show. But before we continue, make sure you turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. I recommend that you guys take a pause and grab a drink or something because this story might just keep you on the edge of your seats. As you all know, the hit show the crown is causing a stir in the private life of the royal family and now it is once again the turn of Queen Elizabeth. Here we will focus on her marriage and love story. Was it a fairy tale? Well, let us go back quite a few years when the couple in love, Elizabeth Alexandra, the future queen, and the Duke of Edinburgh met. In 1939 she was 13 years old and he was 18 years old and best known for being a handsome cadet from the Royal Academy of Dartmouth, which is where they met. He was tall, blonde and athletic and it is said that Liz had fallen in love with him from that moment on. However, However, it was at the wedding of his cousin, Princess Marina of Greece, to Elizabeth's uncle, the Duke of Kent, in 1934, that they had first met as children. The relationship was strengthened, so to speak, when the king and his two daughters went for a trip on the royal yacht called Victoria and Albert, and they were accompanied by Lord Mountbatten and his nephew, who was the handsome Philip. And allegedly, at that moment, the prince was struck by Elizabeth's gaze. How sweet. Usually, great loves begin with something like this, and before we continue, let's look a bit at his life. Since he was a young child, the young Philip had to deal with painful situations like the divorce of his parents, Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark, and Princess Alice of Battenberg. And add to this that after being diagnosed with schizophrenia, his mother took refuge with a religious order and his father was speculated to spend time at the gaming tables. All this after his family was exiled from Greece, surviving thanks to the charity of relatives between France, Germany and Great Britain. Regarding the beginning of his relationship with Elizabeth at that time, he corresponded with her during World War II, while serving in the British Navy. She had waited for him until his return from Asia in 1946, and they became engaged in 1947, and King George VI gave his approval. But here would be the beginning of Philip's emotional decline, as his identity was taken away from him, from his family name to his military career, all in exchange for his beloved Elizabeth. But was she really his beloved? Did he love her too much? Or is there some dark end behind it all? The couple's wedding was a touch of colour in the post-war times, economic crisis, and a devastated people, as they were not a world power anymore and could not afford an empire. None of Philip's sisters were invited to the ceremony as they were married to German officers who had ties to the dictator, with Princess Sophie actually naming her oldest son Karl Adolf. So as you can imagine, in post-war times, they might not have been seen as welcome guests. After five years, those close to the royal couple declared that these were his only good years, since he was treated as an intruder, which made the circumstances to be very similar to those of Princess Diana's case, and that is in the period of time when Elizabeth Elizabeth was still totally in love with him. Remember when previously we mentioned his troubled family life? Well here, so far, it seems that he had finally managed to find one. This does seem pretty similar to the situation with Diana, so maybe that is why later on Philip would become fond of her. But if you want to know more about her family life, be sure to check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. However, this love story would have lasted much longer if Elizabeth had not had to succeed her father in 1952, and as portrayed in the Netflix show, the balance of power in the couple was transformed transformed, and despite living the life of luxury and elegance that the Duke might have never imagined, the issue between husband and wife started from the fact that her duties were really time-consuming and a motive for the two to distance from each other. But what the Duke of Edinburgh had to give up that greatly annoyed him was his beloved naval career. Imagine that. And the fact is that he was not even given any other option than to be a consul, to which they added the controversy of the family name, where of course his surnames were removed, leaving Philip out of the picture at all times. And here come in the speculation that they were involved in a series of situations that were not very favourable for their marriage, and perhaps in a moment of recovering his pride or something like that, he was linked to different women, all of them younger than him. He was even seen taking rest in a solitary trip in October 1956 and February 57, giving rise to a series of rumours that their marriage was increasingly breaking and comments on it. And it is said that all the women with which he was linked to were within the circle of socialites, and the ladies there were almost inaccessible and had unbribable information. 
which means that to this date it has not been possible to determine whether these alleged infidelities happened or if it was all just rumours. And although most of the women who were involved in these speculations have since passed away, among the most notorious was actress Pat Kirkwood. When the then princess was 8 months pregnant, there were letters between the Duke and the star that supposedly did not show an inappropriate relationship between them, but according to speculations, she was the one who aired the facts about the two of them. However, this is not the only slip, let's say, of the Duke. There were also Helen Cordette, Merle Oberon and Anna Massey. The gossip went as far as to say that Philip was not the godfather but the father of Cordette's two children. The woman claimed that these were ridiculous rumours and that the father of her kids was French warplane pilot Marcel Boissot. That surely would have come as a shock to the young queen, right? But definitely not many commented on these scandalous situations because they would be particularly painful for the queen. Because if they were to turn out to be true, well, you can imagine how devastating that would be for her. But did the Duke have anything to say in his defence? He has only limited himself to say that in the last 50 years of his life, he has always been accompanied by a policeman or security. An answer that might be sensible, but for some, lacking the truth. Since it is public knowledge that Charles was literally sneaking around to be able to go visit Camilla when he was married to Diana. So you can see why some were sceptical. Queen Elizabeth is best known for her analytical and discreet skills, so they speculate that she always knew about everything, but she turned a blind eye to it since women at that time were educated to receive loyalty from their partners without that meaning infidelity. Besides, she was in charge of taking care of the monarch's image, which had been damaged in the past. Although this could be a clear example of a working marriage because they have been together for 73 years as of this year. Let's look at his career within the monarchy. He has served as a consort of Queen Elizabeth II in addition to having the titles of Duke of Edinburgh, Earl of Merineth and Baron Greenwich. And of course, also obtaining the title of His Royal Highness. In 1957, Philip was appointed Prince of the United Kingdom and in 2011, that of Lord High Admiral of the United Kingdom, a position which he still holds. He is best described for his cool character where the relationship between his children is concerned, which is shown in a Netflix series. Although his grandchildren, William and Harry, seem to have a completely different opinion as he provided them comfort after the loss of their mother. Despite everything, this royal couple seems to have surely grown old and happy together and not victims to some huge scandals, since it seems all that the media created have been around their children, Charles, Anne and Andrew. To which it has been reported that Queen Elizabeth commented that they thought that they taught their children well. What do you think, Curious? And now obviously comes the biggest media scandal with regards to the House of Windsor, and that would be the marriage of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle, a divorced actress of African-American descent. Many thought this would breathe some fresh air into the monarchy that has been set in traditions for so many years, but Harry's resignation of his royal titles has cost them the biggest blow to their popularity in the last three decades. Closing of a flourish, the series The Crown seems to have awakened many feelings about royal life, and that puts them in a vulnerable position by uncovering all these things from the past that have long been forgotten. But it is true that the only ones who will ever know the exact truth are the people involved and they definitely will never reveal anything to the public. So curious, what do you think about this unbreakable couple from the royal family? Do you believe that there were any infidelities between them? Would you like a video dedicated to a series of scandals that have shaken the crown through history? Believe us, there is a lot to choose from. And that with the Netflix show uncovering more information that may seem to have been forgotten by many, it is interesting to see what else could come to light. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video.